Praise God. Uh, like I said before, and amen, uh, the Father lets us know what to say and, and when to say it. So we don't have to be concerned about that in regards to what we're uh, able to share and when we're able to share it. It's based upon what the Father allows to take place and to what extent it takes place. So what I want to share with you real quick, right from the get, is I want you to take note, okay, of the number of the video of which this revelation came to me in understanding in regards to going back to school for all of us and putting all that together for us so we'd have a better understanding of what's taking place. It's the 88th video, double portion, 8 8. Now, some of you are not going to understand, 8 represents new beginning. On the eighth day, started a new week. New beginnings is what we're coming into right now. Dawning of the day of the Lord, the thousand year reign of Christ, of which he establishes his government here first, right here, right now. Okay? Spiritually. So, the other thing I want you to look at is the length of the video. 1456. Fourteen also represents double portion. Seven. <clears throat> Fifty-six adds up to be eleven. I want to show you all these numbers because one is God, four is unity, five is faith, five wise, the five foolish, household of faith. Uh, also David picked up five smooth stones. Only took one to bring Goliath down, but nonetheless, he picked up five smooth stones from the brook. I believe it's called Kidron Brook. I'm not sure, but nonetheless, that's what he did. He picked up five smooth stones. Faith. The stones. Sons and daughters of God. Okay. <clears throat> One is God for unity five faith and six you should all know is man now if you add those numbers up all right <clears throat> double portion 88 is 16 16 is one and six and that's seven God one is also, beginning or God, universal, one with God, amen. <clears throat> and six, of course, is man. Man being made one with God. Seven. One and six, seven. 1456 is one and four is five. Faith and five is ten. Ten and six is 16 again, 1 and 6, 7, God. Now these things I know that many of you are not going to understand in the beginning. That's why these are, this is a new beginning. This is why we're all going back to school. This is what I tried to show and share with uh, uh, 777 AEJ, but... Uh, she just, I don't know what happened. Uh, maybe she was having a bad day or something, but uh, I pray she comes out of it. Uh, my prayers are with her in regards to that. And uh, I hope she'll start to understand that uh, it's in the revelation, in the revealing of the Word of God and the Kingdom of Heaven, of which we're entering into at this hour. Restoration, all right, in the building of God's house. Jesus says, uh, church upon the revealed word of God which comes through the sons and daughters so don't try to get it all at once because it's not going to happen that way uh, as the Lord reveals as the Father reveals we share uh, as we come into it we give it to you and that's how this thing's going to work so <clears throat> it's by faith that we enter in and you must keep that in mind but I guarantee you, uh, 
it'll all line up perfectly with the literal word of God. Now you see, I want you to look at what's taking place. Our understanding in the revelation, in wisdom and knowledge of revelation, is now coming to that place which these things, the mystery of God is being revealed, unveiled, and the revelation is coming forth. Well, that which is bound on earth, I want you to see that, is bound in heaven. So as the word, the revealed word, goes forth from the sons and daughters, that which is revealed by the Father, the understanding of the literal word, which is what the bondwoman depends on, becomes bound. Her ability, her ministry, hands represent ministry, feet, you know, that's why Jesus said he had to wash their feet. He, was, he wasn't washing their feet to wash their feet. Jesus didn't do anything not one thing through his entire ministry that was not a revealing of the kingdom of heaven. So when he said, Peter, you don't understand, that's exactly what he meant. The understanding feet represent, as corny as some of you might think it is, okay, because these are going to be small things, <laughs> Uh, the hidden wisdom, the whole nine yards, of uh, which is, brings us into the joy of the Lord, which is how we enter in, okay, to uh, His throne. Yeah, before we come before the Father, praise and worship and joy. So it's in the righteousness, peace, and joy. Okay, so we're coming into a joyful time before the Lord. Uh, amen. So, as these things are revealed to us, we share them with you. And uh, what he was saying to Peter uh, had to do with uh, the cleansing, the washing of our understanding. Okay, because the earth, okay, uh, as we walk in this natural realm, okay, the, the dust of the earth comes upon our understanding. It, 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 it causes us... We, we have a tendency to, be, uh, you know, we're in the earth, okay? So what we need is the water, the washing of the water of the Word, the hands of God, of Jesus, and of which we have, you know, Christ in us. That's why we're to wash one another, see, okay? Understanding, keeping the kind of stuff. Anyway, uh, I can't remember where I was going with that, but the Father will help me along here. <laughs> oh, Father God. Anyway, uh, that's what's getting ready to take place, and, and I just wanted to show it to you and uh, so that uh, you'll know, okay? Uh, and praise God. Uh, like I said, we're not gonna uh, we're not gonna share any more than the Father would have us share, and and uh, at the time that He would have us share it, and. Uh, it's his time clock. It's perfect. So uh, we're going to come into this new understanding, and you're going to receive it by faith. Those that are his wheat, according to his word, they hear his voice, and uh, that voice only shall they follow. So the binding of the tares is taking place at the same time, all right, that the wheat uh, and the threshing floor and all that is getting ready to take place. All right? And I told you. The barn was built before, all right, the wheat was gathered into it. Read the parable. I mean, all of a sudden you see a barn. Well, where did that barn come from? So it was established for the wheat to come in. Now, where are the wheat at? Well, they're here on earth still. That's what the parable is about. And they're being taken out from underneath the bondage of the bondwoman, separated unbraided from their doubt and unbelief regarding that, which the tares, weeds, uh, and the wheat have become braided together in. So the unbraiding comes through the binding of the tares, okay, 
and the separating of the wheat, 